Well, today marks National Physician Suicide Awareness Day. Doctors have the highest suicide rate of any profession, which was amplified, as you can imagine, during COVID. It's a startling statistic that many are not aware of. Here to talk about it now, Dr. Afika Chima, Director of Transplant Infectious Disease at Hartford Hospital. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for having me to talk about such an important subject. Absolutely. Well, I guess let's first start. Doctors and healthcare workers have been through so much this past year and a half. What were some of the emotional challenges you faced as an infectious disease physician? As medical experts and infectious disease specialists, we have to continue our COVID-19 that continued to evolve uh, through the days and weeks. What was true one day was uh, not true the next day, and that was not only mentally exhausting, but also physically, it took a big toll on all of us. One other thing that we find really frustrating is the rise in misinformation around COVID-19, as well as the safety of the vaccines that has caused a lot of people in the public to make decisions that has resulted in loss of lives. We've been doing this for 20 months and we still continue to see unnecessary loss of lives. And to everyone in healthcare, to see such a loss of lives that can be prevented completely has caused a lot of moral distress for all of us. You can imagine a lot of frustration, a lot of exhaustion, absolutely. How do you cope with these feelings? Uh, I cope uh, by staying rooted in my why. Uh, I embrace my vulnerabilities. I understand that, you know, I'm human. I have, I get tired and exhausted. Uh, uh, you know, that kind of gives me uh, the courage to, you know, take bold steps to recognize when I need to stop, get some rest. Uh, I focus on the basics of getting exercise, staying hydrated. And on the days that are tough, I lean into the love of my family and my friends. And we certainly appreciate all of your hard work as well as all of the hard work of your colleagues. How do you maybe keep them encouraged or do you ever share any advice with them on how to make sure that they are, especially on a day like today where it's a physician suicide awareness day, aware? Yeah, you know, it's important for everyone in healthcare, not only physicians to know that when you ask for help, it is not a sign of weakness. Uh, it is a reflection of your brave. Uh, in healthcare, in the past 20 months, we have, you know, seen a lot of changes, not only in our work life as well as our home life. Uh, and by sharing these struggles, uh, we open a dialogue and create a connection. Now, currently in this world, uh, you know, everybody like you just talked about is on Instagram, social media, and it leads us to have you know, very isolated, lonely lives. And it's important for us to reach out and connect with each other and create a bridge of empathy, show each other grace. Uh, and that's really one of the ways and one of the important ways we can change the culture in medicine that rewards overwork and exhaustion. Dr. Chima, we really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today and more so thank you so much for all that you do for our community. Thank you so much.